know, you've got a story in you. And once you sort yourself out and you're secure in yourself, I tell you, the doors will open. There's three key things that I want you to go away with today. Those three key things are that man up is here, that man up is here to help, and that man up is here to stay. Now what I've seen across my journey is I've seen many programs come and start with a hiss and a roar and, and have people say that they're there for you and you know, uh, when you ring them at a certain amount, of, a certain hour of the day, uh, their phone doesn't seem to be working as good as it was between nine and five. And unfortunately, that's the way that society is. And all of the things that I've experienced in my life, I was damn sure going to ensure that I wasn't that person. That when I told somebody I was going to be there, I was going to be there. Just a little story, I've been going into prisons to visit um, uh, a number of men over the last few months. And I got a phone call. And uh, it was one of the men that I'd been visiting in prison. Bro, I'm out. So, like, oh, man, cool. I need a place to stay. Man, cool. <laughs> um, uh, okay, bro, I'll, I'll get back to you shortly. So I spoke to my wife, and my wife is, is on the same page as me. We're on the same boat. But that's only because of communication, open communication, that we know that our lives are no longer our own. Yeah. That we know that our resources are no longer our own. That whatever we do have, the clothes on our back, it's not, it's not ours anymore. It's whoever comes and asks for it. And if I didn't intervene, he would have just ended up in the same place that he came from. Even today that we've been discussing on the way here, he's like, bro, you know, I'll, I'll just find it so hard. I've only got so much money left, you know, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, don't worry about it. As long as you stick with me, you'll be fine. Long story short, I was tested because the things that I said, I was tested on it. And did I really want to go and pick him up at late at night when I'm, you know, with my wife with the limited time that I already get? No, I didn't want to. But I'm a man of my word, I'm a man of integrity. That when I put my hand to the plough, I wasn't looking back. When I said to this man, I'm there for you when you need me. I'm there for you when you need me. I was in jail for seven years in another jail. Um, I was addicted to me for about the same time, seven years. Um, we, um, I was actually a real bad, you now I've got a girlfriend, a uh, fiance, they've been bored here, but um, you now I was actually an abusive and violent husband, or oh, you know, boyfriend, and oh, the list goes on, you know, so I just advanced everything really, you know, what, what I've seen as a young child is, you know, is what I thought is a man should be from my father's, what I was kind of putting out there, well, when you become the man up was, I guess um, the boys, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to make the change. I needed to make the change because I had a family that I was losing. Um, I had a girlfriend that I was losing, so I had nothing to lose but to give it a go to see what it's going to give me. You know, um, I was actually quite scared of the change. You know, my, that was my main fear was the fear of change because I didn't know what to expect or where it was going to take me. Um, so you know, I was kind of skeptical as well. So you know. But I really had nothing to lose. I had lost everything that I loved. So I had to weigh it up to, um, to a point where, you know, am I going to continuously keep doing the things that I love? Or am I going to do it for my loved ones? Now I took the, I'm going to do it for my loved ones. I'm going to see where it's going to take me. You know, if this is the program that's going to help me out and better my life and maybe that future father that, you know, they're guaranteed to, you know, they're, they're telling us, bro, this is what it's going to do for you. And I'm like, oh, I see, okay. I'm going to give it a go. And if it's going to do it for me, then yeah. I want to give it my 400%. Mm -hmm. My, my fiancée, you know, she's the happiest woman I've ever met. It's the proudest that she's ever been for, I think, the six years we've been together, you know. Uh, my family are also proud, you know. Um, I guess all the brothers, just seeing from where I came from and to where I am now. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Hello, my name is Paris Winiata and I am the Lower North Island Director for our Man Up program. Man Up is important for all men to attend because it's looking at dealing with the root issues and causes of everyday problems that we face. Things such as finances, work issues, 
marital issues, uh, even health issues. Every issue that you may think you may come across, we look to deal with that and man up. It's an accelerated training program where men of all different ages and all different aspects, all different backgrounds and all different experiences come together to share about how they overcome their everyday problems. So if you can get along, man up. We've got different locations across the nation of New Zealand and Australia. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Man Up Lower North Island.